that's the moment when the guns fell silent at the end of the First World War. And on that day, we kept a minute of silence. And then because we didn't get it right, we went to war again. And so now we keep two minutes silence. In your thoughts and prayers over the next while, please pray that we will never stand still for three minutes. And so we commit ourselves to the future by remembering the past. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. Let us pray. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all and live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Remember them. We pray for the armed forces of the crown. Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect the armed forces of the crown serving all around the globe. Grant them meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty. They may truly serve the cause of justice and peace. To the honour of your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all humankind peace and concord, and to us and all his servants life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen.